Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonmoon.com. Today I'm doing something totally different, something that I never in my life imagined that I would do, and that is a hair tutorial. So lately over on my Instagram, I have been getting so many questions from so many people on how to style that hairstyle, and so I decided to share it over in my Instagram stories. And then I thought it would be fun to share it here as well because it's a really easy mom hairstyle. It is not this one. This is just a messy bun from last night. So I'm going to dive in and show you how to do it. I'm wearing my hair in a certain side braid. I've been doing it because it's really easy and it keeps my hair off of my shoulders and you know, in the summer, that's what I want to happen. All right, and Luke is mowing outside, so it's a little bit loud, but okay. So the first thing you do, your hair does not have to be nice or freshly washed. It's actually a little bit easier if it isn't freshly washed. So the first thing you do is part it on the side, whatever side you're used to parting your hair on, and then just remove a little section here in the front. I don't, nothing specific, I just, pick a certain area and pull it out. Then, as usual, when you're making a braid, divide it into three equal parts. Now here's the part where you can either do a French braid or, as I've been informed on my Instagram, a Dutch braid where you go underneath. Now I do prefer the look of the Dutch braid because it sticks out from my head a little bit and makes it look just, I don't know, kind of fancier. I like it that way. Okay, so I'm just going to do the Dutch braid style. So three equal sections, pass them underneath the middle, one time each. Then add a little bit of hair from each side section, just like any other French or Dutch braid. Then pass it one more time. Do the same again where you add a little bit from each side. Now at this point, I like to start guiding it closer to my ear down that way versus back to create more of a side braid. Just gonna keep adding a little bit from each side and passing it underneath. Now once I get all the way to the bottom, I'm going to grab, well once I get close to the bottom, I'm going to grab a little bit from this side of the part and add it to the braid. And then I'm going to create a messy bun. That's the last step. So I'm just gonna grab the rest of this hair from over here, and then just create a messy line, which I just wrap it three times. I just kind of push my hair like this, and then just pull it out a little bit, make it a little bit messy, and then pull things around and tuck it back in the pony. I can get it how I like it. As a last step, I like to undo the braid ever so slightly to make it a little bit thicker and more messy. And then I pull down a few face framing strands. I readjust my messy bun if needed. Sometimes I get it right easily the first try. It's really nice and sometimes I have to add a few bobby pins or something to make it look nicer. Now what I love about this hairstyle is once you get used to it, it takes probably an extra three minutes at the most from just doing a normal messy bun. Okay, just like with the other one, I part my hair on the side. Then I just take a little bit here and I just start twisting it back. This, this probably doesn't even count as a hair tutorial. I add a little bit as I go, but mostly I just twist. Then I grab from the other side to flatten that down so that it's going with the part. And then I just throw my hair in a messy bun and I kind of pull like this so that way the twist creates a little bit of volume there. Both of these hairstyles work better 
when your hair is not freshly washed, which I just usually wash my hair about twice a week. So it's usually not freshly washed. And if it is, I curl it and that's it. All right, and those are my two mom hairstyles that are fast and easy. And I hope that those were easy and enjoyable for you. I know that I often am looking for hairstyles that I don't have to spend a bunch of time like curling and also in the summer, I don't wanna be hot. And these totally fit the bill for that. All right, well, if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Normally, I make two videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Very rarely and occasionally, maybe some mom beauty life, which is not very much for me at all, but hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.